is like one of the cutest attractions I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? I do not remember this on my first visit. What? That is so funny. Wednesday, July 5th, we're still here at Kennywood for guess what? Yet another super old school, super historic wooden roller coaster. This one behind me called Thunderbolt, opening in 1924. Obviously still insanely old, turning 100 next year. Shockingly not the oldest roller coaster at Kennywood. That's Jack Rabbit. But it's still, I think, 10th, 10th oldest, I think, just after Thunderhawk at uh, Dorney. This is Thunderbolt. Even older than the one at Six Flags New England that we did. Now, if you like terrain, this is the ultimate terrain wooden roller coaster because like Jack Rabbit, it goes from the station right into a drop. Super unique, super rare. It has a height of 70 feet, but a drop of 90 feet. This is also weirdly like two roller coasters in one because it has those sections that just dive deep into that beautiful ravine and that terrain. But then it has this section near the queue that's just kind of a big, not a helix, but like it does like two loops where you get a bunch of laterals. So the thing about Thunderbolt is they don't allow single riders. You need a partner to ride this thing. I think because you just, you move around the trains too much, especially with those laterals. I'm here alone. So I'm gonna hop in line and attempt to see if there's, I guess, an odd party and I can ride with a buddy, I guess. But I'm recording the preview just in case. So fingers crossed. Obviously, if you're watching this, that means I was successful. So let's go to the review. Thunderbolt mural here. My only complaint is they emphasize, oh, you need a partner. Why does nobody have a partner in this thing, huh? False advertisement. Okay. I don't know if this is frowned upon, but I, uh, I did a little strategic move. I'm like, well, I don't want to hop in this 30 minute wait only to be told, yeah, you need a partner. You can't ride. So I went in the fast pass lane. There was an employee standing there just I'm like, just a question. I'm a single rider. Is it okay if I wait here until, you know, an odd party comes in and then I can join that extra person? And she's like, as a matter of fact, a party of three just came through. Row two. And I got right on. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's, you know, the standard. Thought it didn't hurt to take a shot at it. Just, you know, shoot your shot, like they say. And uh, you know, I got right on. Sometimes it helps being a single rider. Anyway, the review. Thunderbolt is like the dad of Phoenix and Twister at Knobles. Because like I said in the preview, you have your buzz bar, airtime, terrain section, where it's, you, know, you get really good pops of air, especially out of the station. But then you also have the lateral section. So obviously Phoenix has the airtime, Twister has the laterals. It's definitely like a mix between the two. Like one gene went to Twister, one gene went to Phoenix. Overall, it's a great ride. Still super smooth. The laterals, there's a reason I think you need a partner because you would just crash into the side of that train. If you're on the uh, the left side of the seat, your partner's gonna just be <laughs> crashing into you, that whole lateral section. It's kind of funny. A little weird when it's not something you know, but. Overall, it's a solid, solid wooden roller coaster. The airtime isn't like, oh my God, fun little pops, nothing crazy. I honestly like the lateral section more than the terrain section. I gotta shout out the view on the lift hill and as you're going uh, through the terrain section, you get a beautiful shot of the river on the side. Classic Pittsburgh. I still 
like the double down on Jackrabbit as a better moment, but I like it. I like Thunderbolt better than Steel Curtain too. So I'm gonna go 7.16. It's a solid old school wooden roller coaster. You'll have a smile on your face the whole time. Some fun air time, really strong laterals, beautiful setting. It's a good ride. So all the last three reviews have all been very similar in the score range. I guess that's a sign of a, of a good lineup. And we still haven't even done the star of the show yet. Is that tomorrow or is that in two days? You'll have to tune in to see, won't you? That's Thunderbolt. Like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Love you all.